This video intends to show users how to collect and generate reports on all of the materials used within the project. We'll begin with the newer Excel reporting. Excel reporting collects all of the materials and produces a report in one operation. Unlike subsequent reporting methods, go to the Output tab and select Excel Lists. You can then select from either structural or architectural report types. Within each are their own respective lists. Select the one required and click OK. Vertex will then collect all of the pieces and open up an Excel report. Alternatively, the older method is still available and is a relatively simple two-step process. The first step is to collect all of the materials within a given project. This is achieved via the Collect Materials command in the Output tab of the ribbon. Next, you can choose which active drawing model pairs the materials are collected from. In this example, the All button will be pressed to quickly select all active modeling pairs. Now click OK. BD will then collect all the materials used within the project. Collating them into the Collected Materials database. This database contains all of the information for the materials and this information will vary depending on the material type. The database can now be closed by clicking OK. Now if further materials are added to the project, then the Collect Materials will need to be run again. The next step is to generate the report itself. Again, found in the Outputs tab, go to the Reports command. The Output Format window will open with a list of available reports, which will depend on your customization as further reports can also be developed and added here. In the basic installation, there are various different report types, ranging from costing reports, cutting lists, and summary lists. Many also have the option of outputting in Excel formats rather than standard text file outputs. Simply choose the report to use and click OK. BD will then run a query on the Collected Materials database based on whatever conditions are specified by that particular report type. A new Collected Materials database displaying the queried information will be shown. Now click OK and this information will be gathered into the report. Reports are automatically saved into the Reports folder within the root directory of the project. However, they can be quickly accessed from the Project Document Browser. This concludes our video on reporting. Thank you for watching.